This is an Amnishore ROM test training presentation by Advanced Global Health. Amnishore is a rapid test kit to aid the diagnosis of rupture of membranes. Around 20 to 25% of all pregnant women will present with signs and symptoms of ROM, and clinical literature suggests around half of cases will not have an obvious diagnosis with clinical examination. This can lead to inappropriate patient management, which has high risks of ascending infection or inducing labour prematurely. Amnishore is a quick swab test and should be used following an inconclusive speculum examination. Amnishore improves the diagnostic accuracy, meaning that patients will receive the most efficient and most appropriate patient management and care. The test strip has highly sensitive antibodies to detect the presence of the PAMJ1 protein in vaginal discharge. Normally, there are extremely low concentrations of PAMJ1 in vaginal discharge and a much higher concentration in amniotic fluid. Clinically significant leakage of fluid from the cervical os due to a rupture will result in a significant increase in the PAMJ1 concentration in cervical vaginal discharge. The Amnishore test has a very sensitive threshold for the detection at 5 nanograms per mil. The test is 99% accurate with over 20 peer-reviewed studies demonstrating its high sensitivity and specificity. Amnishore is recommended in the NICE guidelines, ARCOG Green Top guidelines and the European guidelines which state that the PAMJ1 test seems to be the most accurate. The Amnishore test is used by healthcare professionals to aid in the detection of ROM. It is used in pregnant women reporting signs, symptoms or complaints suggestive of ROM and following an inconclusive speculum examination. The results should be used in conjunction with other clinical information and the test should not be used solely for the diagnosis of ROM. You can use it on women at any gestational age. The test can be used in the presence of urine, vaginal infection, semen after intercourse, minimal amounts of blood and in the presence of minimal amounts of water-based lubricant. So if you are doing the Amnishore test following a speculum exam, be mindful of how much lubricant you will use with the speculum. The Amnishore test kit includes a sterile swab, a solvent vial and a test strip. There are 25 test kits in a box. They are individually packaged. Store the kit in a dry place at 4 to 25 degrees Celsius and do not freeze. Complete the test before any digital examination and before the use of any disinfectants. Wear gloves, set up a stop clock or timer, and remove the test kit from the packaging. The test kit also has the procedure steps on the packaging as a reminder. Step one, take the solvent vial by its cap and ensure all the liquid in the vial has dropped to the bottom. Open the solvent vial and place it in a vertical position. Be careful not to knock it. Use only the sterile flop swab provided with the Amnishore test kit. Remove the swab from its packet, holding the shaft, not the tip. The tip of the swab should not touch anything prior to insertion in the vagina. Hold the swab in the middle of the shaft and carefully insert the tip of the swab into the vagina about five to seven centimeters deep until your fingers contact the skin and gently swab for one minute to collect the sample. Remove the swab from the vagina and ensure the swab tip does not touch anything after removal prior to inserting into the solvent vial. If the swab is light pink or spotted with blood with trace amounts, this is okay and can still be tested. If the swab is red and saturated with blood, the test should not be used. When the swab is removed, immediately place the tip into the solvent vial. Rotate the swab in the vial for one minute. After rinsing, remove it and dispose of the swab. Tear open the foil pouch at the tear notches and remove the Amnishore test strip holding the blue end. Insert the white end of the test strip with the two arrows facing downwards into the vial with the solvent. Wait for five minutes or until you see two lines appear, whichever is sooner, and remove the test strip. Place the test strip on a clean, dry, flat surface to record the results as soon as you remove it from the vial. Do not read the results 10 minutes after dipping the test strip into the vial. The test strip has a test line and a control line, similar to a pregnancy test. For a positive result, two lines will be visible. 
This indicates that the membranes have ruptured. This is true even if the second line is faint or broken, the result is still positive. For a negative result, only one line will be visible, this is the control line, and this indicates there is no rupture of membrane. If there are no lines, the test is not valid. Do not interpret the result based on the intensity of the lines. Amnishore is a qualitative test, so do not interpret a quantitative result from the test. It is important to note that results should be used in conjunction with other clinical information. Failure to detect membrane rupture does not assure the absence of membrane rupture. Amnesia results are qualitative, not quantitative. Other limitations with the test can be found on the IFU package insert. Thank you for completing the Amnesia training. If you have any questions, please refer to the IFU, your standard operating procedure, or please email nicola.foster at aghealth.co.uk.